Hello and welcome to your scavenger hunt lecture. As always, make sure you begin in the appropriate week and content and use those assignment instructions. You'll need to download the scavenger hunt file and then you'll just complete the information on the page. So for example, how do you access the best email at which to reach me? I have two email addresses that you may see in the course, but one is noted as the best one to use. Also, when you're answering these questions, make sure that you answer the question fully. So this one asks you the place and hours of operation uh, for somewhere that you can go if something happens to your computer or your internet. Note here, I'm not talking about tech support. I mean, if something happens to your computer or your internet, where can you go and what can you do to ensure that you get those assignments completed on time? Most of this information is going to be found by wandering around in D2L, looking through content and announcements. Some of them, though, may require that you use a little critical thought. I do have students get mixed up on these. It asks you to go to the discussions forum and find the discussion on the scavenger hunt. Now, once you go into discussions, you don't actually click into anything there. It's just going to tell you somewhere to go. You're going to write that location there, and then you're going to go to that location. Once you visit there, it's going to tell you somewhere else to go, and you're going to write that here. And then that's going to send you to your last location, and it'll give you a secret phrase that you'll type here. Down here, you're going to have to add yourself a little room. I want you to list all the classes that you're taking this semester, plus any hours that you work a job or you have other obligations. So if you go to church every Sunday morning, evening, and Wednesday evenings, and maybe you have a Bible study on Tuesday and you don't intend to miss those, that's something you're going to want to add in here. Do you play a sport or do you have a child that plays a sport and you know you're not going to be working at particular times? That's the sort of thing I want you to add in here. That way you can more clearly see when you're going to have time to actually work on your classwork. And then this explains that for the amount of time that you would generally be in class, you're expected in a college level class to spend about twice that amount of time outside of class. Well, with this being an online class, then your in-class hours are also going to be spent outside of class. So if you have a three credit hour course, you should expect to spend between six and nine hours per week working in that course. So make sure you're doing the math there and you add that in. Once you're completed, at all, as always, make sure that you file save as so that you can choose not only where you want to save your file, but what you want to name it. And if you're not using Microsoft Word, make sure you're choosing to save that as a PDF document so we can open it. If you have any questions about where or how to submit this assignment into assignments, please go back and view your West 1 lecture. That should explain it to you. This concludes your scavenger hunt lecture, and I hope to see you again soon.